1969 was the year Kenya African National Union Kanu Secretary General Tom Boya was shot dead by a lone gunman on July 5th as he walked out of a pharmacy on Government Road in Nairobi. The assassination was a culmination of a series of events that had started the previous year, with President Jomo Kenyatta's close allies trying to contain Boya politically. Mboya's murder shook Kenya as nothing had ever done before since independence. Luo's blamed it on the government and particularly on Kenyatta's inner circle of Kikuyu allies. Other non-Kikuyu Kenyans were taken aback. In reaction to the growing anti-Kikuyu feelings, Kikuyu started taking oaths primarily aimed at ensuring the unity of the tribe in the face of growing opposition to Kenyatta's rule, particularly from the Luo. The pressure was such that, by August, Bildad Kagia, vice president of the Kenya People's Union, KPU, and almost the entire central province membership of the opposition party, had been forced to rejoin Kanu. The split between the two former senior members in the Kanu ethnic coalition, the Kikuyu and the Luo, was now as complete as it could possibly be. The KPU did not last long after Kagea rejoined Kanu. In October, it was banned following a violent anti-Kenyatta demonstration when the president visited Kisumu to open a hospital built with aid from the Soviet Union. A few days later, several of the party's members, including its leader Oginga Odinga and all KPU MPs, among them veteran freedom fighters Achieng Oneko and J.D. Kali, were detained. Once again, Kenya became a de facto one-party state. It was in a one-party state that Kenyans went to the polls in December in the next general election. In the absence of any other party, Kanu party primary elections amounted to the final general election. The primaries saw 77 sitting MPs out of a total of 158, almost fully one-half, lose to newcomers. Despite his rejecting the KPU, Bildad Kagea was handsomely defeated in Kandara by Thaddeus Mora, who had defeated him at the little general election of 1966. In that general election, Grace Onyango, former mayor of Kisumu, became the first woman to be elected to parliament as member for Kisumu Town. She had already registered a first when in 1965 she was elected mayor of Kisumu, thereby becoming the first woman in Kenya to be elected a mayor. Kenyatta made some sweeping changes in the new government that he appointed after the 1969 general election. He retained Daniel Arap Moy as vice president, Charles Njonjo as attorney general, Bruce McKenzie as minister for agriculture, and Jackson Angaine as Minister for Lands and Settlement, but he made Mwai Kebaki Minister for Finance, moving him from his former Commerce and Industry docket to take over from James Gishuru, whom he moved to the defence portfolio that had been occupied by Njoroge Mungai. He made Mungai Minister for Foreign Affairs. And Kenyatta brought into his government two former Kenya African Democratic Union Kadu leaders, Masinde Muliro, whom he made Minister for Cooperatives and Social Services, and Taita Arab Towet, whom he gave the Ministry of Education. In his new government, there were only two Luo ministers, Odinga's successor as MP for Bondo, William Odongo Omamo, whom he made Minister for Natural Resources, and GEM MP, Isaac Omolo Okero, who became Minister for Health. Earlier in the year, Kenyatta had appointed another African first, Major General Joseph Ndolo, to take over from General R.B. Penfold as head of the country's armed forces. Another first would be the establishment of Firestone Factory in Nairobi, as a joint venture with the government for the manufacture of tyres. In 1969, 
Kenyans bade farewell to Kenya's first African lawyer and Minister of State for Foreign Affairs, Clement Arguings Kovek, who died at the Nairobi Hospital following a car accident at the junction of Wood Avenue and Hurlingham Road in Nairobi.